Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another try on today and I'm doing all Abercrombie stuff for spring 2019. I'm getting pumped because I'm just started Orange Theory. Haven't gone yet, but I'm signed up. And my husband and I are gonna be doing like a, like a tropical vacation, just the two of us for like three or four nights soon. So I wanted to get like some cute spring things that I could bring with me to my trip. And I wanted to share them with you guys and see what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna send back. This shirt's kind of bothering me a little bit cause it's low, but you know. I like to do my true and honest opinion on everything. And then a lot of you guys like following up in the comments and saying like I would love to know what you end up keeping from each thing that'd be hard because I don't really do like a follow-up video but you will see on my Instagram sometimes things that I keep because I do a lot of pictures with the things still or you know, I wear them out and about on my stories but today I'll try to narrow it down at the end of the video to like a top three things that I like that I think I'm gonna keep I think that will be helpful for you guys and yeah and everything will be linked in the video description box down below so it's like super easy to shop you just click on that one link it takes you to my blog post and the blog post has images of every item down below the video. You just click on those images to shop. I will also try to share sizing details and all those good things that makes it a lot easier for you guys so you don't have to actually go to the mall. All right, so let's hop right into the try on. Okay, so if you watched my Payless try on, you're gonna remember these shorts and you're gonna remember these shoes. Definitely keeping these shoes because I wanna take them on spring break with us and you remember these shorts. Now I am like so in between sizes with these shorts, but I get them every year. They're like my favorite, just like jean short to wear like all spring and summer long. But for me, I prefer to go up a size. So I'm normally a 27, I got a 28 in these just because they do shrink up a little bit when you wash them and dry them. And I would rather my shorts be like a little bit bigger and longer than two small. So I did size up to a 28. They are my favorite spring and summer shorts to wear. They have like the perfect amount of distressing. They're high-waisted. They look a lot like a Levi's short, but more affordable. Then this top I'm kind of still deciding on. Like when I first put it on, I had like my pajama pants on and I was like, whoa, like my whole stomach's going to be out if I wear this. But it doesn't if you have like high-waisted shorts because these are high-waisted and it actually works. So I feel like this could be like a cute spring break top. I have it in another color to show you guys. It has like the ruching right here which kind of is form fitting but I feel like it's really cute it's like very spring break vibes I need to show you guys that bag I got that cute backpack in from Amazon maybe I'll show that to you guys in this video so yeah this is a really cute outfit I'm trying to decide about the top I want to try on the other color and decide like what I think about it the shorts are a go-to if you're looking for a comfortable pair of shorts for summer or spring that are not super short that are gonna last I still have mine from last year but they changed them up a tiny bit so like the styles of the distressing so I wanted to get this year's version to show you guys and they're just like a good short. They have pockets. They have like a longer zipper because of the high-waisted trend. It looks really cute. It reminds me of Levi's, like I said. The pockets are really cute in the back and they do come in a lot of different washes. I have another wash. I'm going to show you guys. I got two washes, but I think they come in like six or seven. They even have like black. They have all colors, but they're really comfortable. And like I said, I wore them like literally all last summer. And then yeah, I'm wearing my Payless shoes. If you didn't see my Payless try on, you'll have to go back to my most recent try on video. I tried on the, quite a few Payless shoes and these are great. They remind me of Soul Society or like Mark Fisher, but a lot less money. And yeah, let's go right into the next thing. I think I'm just gonna put on a cardigan over this because I got this adorable cardigan. So one sec. All right, I popped on this cardigan. I got this in two colors. I have one very similar again from last year, but I wanted to get this year's version to show it to you guys because this is my favorite cardigan to wear in spring and summer just because it's, what can you say? I guess the fabric is more lightweight and it's more of like almost like a linen-y. I don't know my fabrics very well, but it's more like Wait, like you could wear it on the beach. I brought it to Florida. We went to Florida last March, visit my parents. And it's like the main cardigan, the same style from last year. It's like the main thing that I wore. I even brought it to the beach. It's so cute and see like the fabric. It's not like a sweater, like, you know, it's like a lightweight. Oh my gosh, I did not dust my mirror. Anyways, it's amazing for beach. And I just like love the way it looks. It has like kind of like a beach vibe. Oh, my hair's not so cute in the back. I like to do my hair in the front and forget the back. So cute. I just, I love it. Like seriously love it. I got it in two colors. It's the perfect cardigan that you can wear into spring and summer and just like keep in your bag like your beach tote Whatever you want to like just like warm up a little bit But not a lot but also have like a nice layer to your outfit I actually think it looks really cute with this whole outfit. I would wear this bring the bag out I have to tell you guys the story of this purse. I was gonna save it for like an Amazon haul, but whatever, there's nothing in it. So of course it looks all flat, but I saw a girl at the grocery store and she had a couple kids and I was like, oh my gosh, where'd you get that purse? Because, well, I said backpack. And I was like, I need one that's not so 
heavy and like bowling ball huge. Like, see how it's like a little bit smaller? It looks a little weird. I literally haven't put anything in it, but it looks so cute. Like the way it was hanging on her, she had a couple things in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need one that's not so massive. And like one that I can use now that my kids are older. Cause I don't need like bottles and all the things for them, but I do need some of their stuff. And she was like, you have to get this one on Amazon. I got it. I'll probably do more of a detailed review of it later for you guys. It's amazing. It was just sitting there and I was like, I'm gonna show them real quick. How cute. I'm excited to wear it. I think it's like 50 bucks and it's real leather. Kind of looks like a Madewell bag or something. So I was like, what? I need that. And it comes in black, it comes in all the colors. I need to get some more stuff in it so it can look a little more lived in. I like how it has a pocket in the back too. I don't know. It just kind of looked like a Madewell Abercrombie vibe bag. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. I love my Skip Hop diaper bag. Oh my, does it have the side thing? Oh yeah, it does. It has a little side thing for a water bottle too. My friend and I were like talking about mom bags over the weekend and she's like, oh, mine doesn't have that. I need it. That one does. And I didn't think it did. So that's very exciting. I will link that for you guys if you're interested. But yeah, we're we going? I got so sidetracked. We talked about the cardigan. All right, on to the next. <laughs> All right, here's the other color in this shirt. I kind of like this one better. It just feels a little more spring to me. I'm wearing the same shorts, same shoes, same size. I gotta say small in this, so it's true to size. It feels so like kind of form-fitting, but I feel like that's just how it's supposed to be. And it works with these high-waisted shorts too. Still deciding on it. It's not something I would wear every single day, but it's something I would bring and wear like on spring break, like for the beach and stuff. So I feel like it's pretty cute for that. I'm gonna try on my other pair of denim shorts for you guys. And then my other cardigan, I got another color in that amazing cardigan. So one sec. All right, so I got two of the cardigans. I am in love with this one too. It's kind of like a creamy, natural, kind of off-white color. Oh, they're so good. They also come in, I think there's like four other colors they come in. So they'll definitely have a color for you. My hair is such a mess. Oh, I just love them. They're so lightweight and just so comfy. The fabric is amazing. Like I've been wearing it pretty nonstop. My gray one around the house. I put the shirt on in green. Still trying to decide about this shirt. Something about it I'm not loving on me. I think I'm just not comfortable in it. Seems too form-fitting or something. I don't know, I might not keep this shirt to be honest. So that's kind of why I do these. I, I put it on, I, I talk with you guys about it and we decide what I should keep. But the cardigan so far and the shorts, yes, on all levels. I'm gonna try on the other pair of shorts. I got like more of a dark wash. So I'm gonna show that to you guys next. All right, I found what I'm gonna wear the rest of the day. I actually kept the same shorts on, but I changed shoes. And you guys, these are Dr. Scholl's shoes. And I feel like back in the day, I would think of that as like a grandma brand or something, but they're so cute. They look like the Stan Smiths from Adidas. They have a little blue on the back and they are so comfortable. Obviously Dr. Scholl's comfort is like their thing. I feel like a total mom in this outfit, but I love it. This is actually a cropped flannel, but it's like a lightweight flannel. It is awesome and like so breezy. See, it's cropped. I just actually tucked it a little bit for form in the front. A little bit like that. <laughs> Hard to do that on camera. And I rolled up the sleeves a little bit. I just got a size small, so true to size in it. Also true to size in my shoes. I'm wearing an eight and a half. I love this top. This is like the perfect like way to wear like a flannel-y kind of top into spring and summer, but it's like a lightweight material. And I love the crop. I feel like that kind of transitions it really well into spring and summer months. And it's so cute. How cute is this outfit? Like this is the perfect mom on the go outfit. Add the backpack, add a ball cap and perfect outfit. I love this so much. You'll see me wearing this on Instagram. I'm keeping everything right here and obviously these shoes. I will link the shoes too. They're from Nordstrom, but I will link them for you guys. I'll also link the bag. Really liking this. I was just getting ready to change into the other shorts and I was like, wow, this cardigan will look cute with this too. I don't have my shoes on, but <laughs> this looks really cute with this. Just layered over. You could do the gray one too, but I kind of like the contrast of this kind of like neutral color with the gray in the shorts. I think that's really cute and would look really good at the sneakers. So the sneakers are off white too. So that'd be really cute together. All right, I promise I'm gonna switch into the other shorts soon. <laughs> Keep leaving these on, but I wanted to try on this. If you watched my Payless try on, you're gonna remember the Payless Birkenstock dupes. You're gonna remember this too. This is like the cropped, really lightweight, comfy sweater top that has the buttons down the front, which is so cute. I don't know, I love this. I got it in two colors, so I will show you the other color, but I just think it's so cute and so soft and very fun. Just kind of like a bring kind of like lightweight sweater that you can wear with shorts or jeans. I just love the style with like the big, Oversized buttons, I think it's so cute. True to size, wearing a size small in it. These are like the best Birkenstock dupes if you didn't see my Payless video. Anyways, so let's go to the next, which is going to be different shorts, same shirt, but different color. <laughs> Okay, I changed into the other wash of the shorts and these are more like fringy at the bottom and they don't have as much distressing on them. 
which is super cute, but I feel like I need to iron this part out. You know what I mean? I think I like the other ones better on me. I like the distressed look. These are, if you're looking for something that's a little less distressed because they still have the same fit. Oh, I need to iron that wrinkle. But this is the same shirt in another color, which is so cute. I love like the cream natural colors for spring and summer. Just want to show you guys this. From what I can tell, I definitely like the other shorts better, but. These are another wash. I will definitely let you guys know which wash is which like in the images so you guys know which one to choose. Maybe I'm just not, I don't, I don't know. These just aren't looking as cute on me. You know what I mean? That's helpful. We decided that right there. All right, I put the cute shorts back on. I'm keeping these, obviously. They're my favorite. I didn't really like the other ones as much, so I'm glad I got to try that on and show you guys which ones are the cutest. I have the Dr. Scholl's back on, the shoes. And then I put this on, you know, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I don't need another Sherpa. But I saw this one online and something about it seemed like so sporty to me, obviously, with like the varsity kind of sleeve and then like this zipper detail. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna get it. And if I realize like I don't need another Sherpa, I'll send it back. But you guys, I love it. <laughs> it looks so cute with these shorts and the shoes. It's kind Kind of like a spring version of the oh so popular winter sherpa i got my regular size in it and it comes in quite a few different colors i just don't have one that has like this kind of zipper and like these kind of sleeves and i guess i don't really have like a well i do have like a white and tan one but i don't know i think this one's really sporty and cute like you could wear it with leggings like to the gym and take it off when you're there i just think it's adorable so i'm gonna have to keep it <laughs> i'm gonna kind of think about real quick in my head what the best ones are get that together for you guys and let you know all right guys, so my favorites out of everything are these shorts that I'm wearing right now. I will definitely label the wash for you guys. I sized up to a 28 and I think it's perfect. The cropped flannel, the cardigans, and then probably this Sherpa or the button up top. A lot of favorites today. But I would say if you're narrowing it down to two items for spring, I would do the shorts and the lightweight cardigan. Those are like great, great options. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to narrow it down at the end and tell you like what truly my favorite pieces are just from like the quick video. Some of these things I don't try on until I do the video. So it can be hard to share that quickly, but like the shorts and the cardigan are both pieces that I wore the same style of it last year. So it's so easy to say those are favorites because I've worn them like nonstop all last year. This shirt is really cute too though if you're still somewhere where it's chilly it's still chilly here in texas that's for sure anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on my next video Where you move, make me blind you will always be there there's no doubt in my mind you will always be